this video tutorial in the How to Model series, Model Grass and Trees. At the end of this tutorial, you will know how to make your own model grass from waste, sawdust, and also how to make your own model trees. This is what model grass looks like when it's modeled from waste sawdust and green paint is added to the mix. For this, you will need some fine sawdust, a mixing container, an ordinary household sieve, and some green paint. But first you need to sieve the sawdust to separate the bigger chunks from the fine sawdust. It's the fine sawdust that we need and we use to make the model grass. I will now show you the process. So once we have the sawdust sieved through, we're left with nice fine sawdust as you can see here, which is what we want for our grass because if we didn't sieve it, we'd be left with bigger chunks like this and they're not really suitable for making grass because some of them can be quite square looking. So the process then to make the grass is you just get some watered down green paint and we add it to our sawdust. Now we don't need a whole pile of green paint and simply we just start mixing it all up together. It's important as well to put on a cover on the table as shown here. And we carry on mixing that until it gets to a nice fine consistency. You can add in more sawdust to dry it out and it'll help it also help it dry, dry that little bit quicker. So we're aiming to get dry green grass. We don't want to saturate the sawdust in green paint because it'll take forever to dry and what happens is it can often dry and it'll end up in lumps like that. But when it's finished we end up with the likes of this. Now when you're finished mixing it's important to take it out and spread it out on the table like so so it can dry out nice and evenly and it'll probably take maybe an hour or two to dry out fully. So when that's done then, you just gather it all up and you store it in a little glass container or a box or whatever is handy and around the face I'm now going to show you how to make some model trees. Here is an image of what the finished tree will look like. What you need to make model trees is some old rope for the leaves and the branches, some old wire, for the trunk which is usually got from old electrical cables and some PVA glue. You will also need a cordless drill and some long nose pliers. I will now show you the process on how to make some model trees. Now to make our model trees it's very simple as well. We just use some old copper wire that came from an old electrical cable and I just, I just stripped the plastic insulation off the outside of it and it left me with this wire here. That's for the tree trunk and then to make the actual leaves and the kind of the branches or the foliage of the tree we just cut up some old rope that we separated the strands out on and we'll add some of our green grass flock that we made earlier just to give it a bit of uh, density and thickness. So what we do is when we have the insulation peeled off the wire we fold the wire out so it's straight and then we fold it back in half so this makes this kind of a loop shape there and it's these two ends here the two loose ends we're going to put into the cordless drill into the chuck of the drill and we're going to actually spin it around so it creates the kind of a twisted look of the trunk of the tree there. So here you can see the wire put into the chuck of the drill, tightened, and what we need next is our long nose pliers. Because we have to spin the trunk of the tree first. So slowly, turn on the drill, and that's the trunk of the tree spun there. Now we can cut this to length again when it's finished, but it's better to leave it longer while you're making the tree. And inside this loop here then we just open up that loop, a small piece. 
we'll get our rope that we've cut into small shorter lengths they're cut into about 50 millimeter lengths at the moment and we're going to put them inside that loop there So you can kind of bunch them up down towards the twisted part here and I'll just add in the final view here now. So once you have the bits of rope put in the loop, just push down on the wire again and just make sure that they're kind of evenly spread half and half either side of the wire here. And we're going to pinch the wire again. With our pliers and we're just going to spin the drill again then so sometimes it will kind of twist like that back up in there but that's, that's okay it's easy straight now so once it's all spun like that just take it out of the chuck the drill Now you can kind of see it's a bit haphazard here and there, but that's just the way it's going to be. There is a certain amount of moving we can do with the bristles and kind of get it into more of a tree shape. We can also cut them again when it's all dried out and finished. Now to add the green, we get our watered down green paint again and we just dip the tree in it. Make sure to cover, get all the bristles covered. And you can let it kind of drain back into the tin of paint or the glass of paint that you use. And what I have then handy is this bucket. And I just shake off the excess paint from it. To tidy it off. I get my green flocking and I just add it onto it then. You can add loads of flock onto it and just mix it around inside there and shake it out again then. Now it's important then to let this dry and when it all dries out then what we do is we'll just cut it and give it the shape of the top of the tree like seen here. So I kind of gave it like an oak tree effect there and that's the way they finish up. And then we just add some brown paint to the trunk of the tree. You can cut it to length and just stick it into the installation part of your model then. Because the copper wire will stick into the installation, it'll make a hole. So make a hole with the tree, pull it back out, put down some glue in the hole and then leave the tree in and let leave it set. And that's how you make model trees.